Will and Grace. Once more, with feeling. Will and Grace's second outing. Will. Returning to the set of Will and Grace after a decade's absence, actor Eric McCormack says, gives he and his castmates Deborah Messing, Sean Hayes and Megan Mullally, a rare artistic payoff. There is age, children, experience. And I think I'm a better actor now than I was ten years ago. I hope I am, he says. We all went away and had that, and we've all done a lot of different things, but we also left a show that I would say was very much taken for granted by the end of the run. Another three guest stars on this week, who cares, McCormack adds. We had a nice big ending, but that was an ending that we engineered, he says. We wanted the show to have a legacy that isn't just Peter Dutt. But something happens when you go away for long enough, like in a relationship, they start to miss you. The original Will and Grace, created by Max Muchnick and David Cohan, aired between 1998 and 2006. McCormack played lawyer Will Truman to Messing's designer Grace Adler, a gay guy slash straight girl friendship which echoed off Desi and Lucy. Hayes played Will's very gay, very dependent friend Jack McFarland, and Mulally Adler's assistant, the lazy Manhattan socialite Karen Walker. The production of a one-off clip, intended to encourage Americans to vote in the 2016 election, was met with such a strong outpouring of affection and nostalgia that NBC made the unprecedented call to put the series back in production. The ninth season was extended from 10 to 16 episodes, and a tenth season of 13 episodes has also been commissioned. Returning to the set was incredibly positive and emotional, McCormack says. Nobody went off and became an asshole, which is really a great relief. Out of four, there's a good chance. We all have missed it, because the it is a very specific thing. We always shot in front of an audience that was so on fire, so excited to be here, and we've missed that, we've missed that energy, he adds. That was the key thing. Just being on that stage, particularly Will's apartment, is for all of us a real safe place, a place where we would be idiots, we'd be children, every day. When the original series final episode aired, it included a flash-forward which saw both Will and Grace settled with partners and children, which was intended to close off the story. In exhuming the series for a second outing, Cohan and Muchnik have opted to discard that ending. We basically threw out the last episode, explains McCormack. We didn't have kids, we did have those relationships, and we explain all that in the first episode of the show in a very funny way. And a lot of people didn't even like it. The original series was a rare example of bottled lightning on a television series. Not just because of the unusually strong chemistry between the four main cast, but also in that it kept one director Jim Burroughs who directed every episode. Like Cohan, Muchnik, and the actors, Burroughs is also returning. Any uncertainty over whether that lightning could be bottled a second time, McCormack says, evaporated when they filmed the 2016 election clip. I don't think any of us would have come back if we didn't think we could do it again, if it just didn't look right, he says. I feel like between our desire to make it happen and the audience's energy, the audiences we've had so far, we've done four shows, it's like a rock concert, and we're kind of like a band, he adds. You never thought that Oasis would get back together, but they did, and people go crazy, because there they are, the four of them, and it's really fun. The series is returning, McCormack notes, in a complex political climate. When we started in 1998, it was the Clinton era, things were pretty liberal, but at the same time that was the year the impeachment hearings started, then 9-11, then George Bush, he says. Six of our eight years were a Republican atmosphere here, now we're in another one, he says. We got gay marriage in 50 states, but it could all be stripped away tomorrow. We're again putting this show up at a time when it's not safe. We're broadcasting to a country in flux and in jeopardy at the moment. And Grace. 
though politics may make him polite dinner conversation, there are no such graces when actress Deborah Messing walks into the green room on the cavernous Universal Studios soundstage where the new series is being filmed. It is much the opposite. Messing is passionately political and passionate about the fact that Will and Grace, from its birth in 1998, was unafraid to tackle social and political issues in its storylines. We've got a past, that's who we always were, and we're going to continue what we always did, she says. Obviously, the world is a completely different place, she adds. There have been a lot of very scary and upsetting and confusing changes. That's part of the reason why I wanted to come back because I needed to laugh again, and I wanted to make people laugh. Returning to the set after a decade, Messing says was shocking and confusing and warm and cozy. We've done four episodes and I can honestly say that only now have I finally digested the fact that we're really doing this. We really have come back after 11 years. The whole thing seems so insane to me. Though a decade has passed in the story, Messing says the worldview of the characters has shifted with it. For Grace, the loss of actress Debbie Reynolds, who played her mother, the unsinkable Bobby Adler, marks a subtle maturation. Losing Debbie was a devastating loss, she says. We have a picture of she and I on the set that's always there. And, to sort of fantasize about what we would be able to do together, it's painful. I feel like Grace is 11 years older also. She has gone through some difficulties. She's a little more grounded. The Grace of 11 years ago, she adds, was more neurotic and worried about finding her mate. I feel like the Grace of Will and Grace 2.0 is sort of trusting that the world will unfurl the way it should. She's divorced and single, but she's okay with that. I think that's the difference that I really love to see. The biggest challenge for Messing was the physicality of the role. Grace was incredibly physical and Deborah is incredibly klutzy, she says. Over the course of eight years, I've sprained my neck, I've sprained my shoulder, I've sprained my left hip. Injuries because I just threw myself into things. Now, she observes, I am in my forties and I feel those aches and I don't have the same kind of flexibility that I had when I was in my thirties. I think that was the thing that made me trepidatious from the outset. I was like, okay, how am I going to find that energy and facility with physicality again? Casting aside the final episode, she says, seemed initially like a quandary. After they explain the reasoning behind it, it made complete sense to me. It would become a show about Will and Grace being parents, she says. And, if they try to minimize the kids, then it would be a show about Will and Grace being bad parents. No one wants to see that. The show's four characters Will and Grace and the scene-stealing antics of Jack and Karen are the audience's touchstone. We're the core of it. I think that's what people enjoy the most, is to see the four of us play with each other, she says. I think it made sense to bring it back to its original roots. And of that other Deborah Messing, a decade younger and a decade more flexible, she smiles in reflection. She was terrified. She was wondering if we were gonna get cancelled next week, she says. It was a very dangerous show to come on right after Ellen's show went off the air. This unprecedented encore, she says, feels completely different. The privilege of having that experience and stepping away and being able to come back. I can't even think of the words. To be able to go off and to have all of these other creative experiences and then to come back, it's never been done in the history of TV. I think we are keenly aware of how lucky and privileged we are.